Okay, now we're going to look at how to set up a multiple level membership, but for only non-recurring payments. Okay, so let's go back to settings, and then our PayPal configuration. Now let's just set our trial period as 9999, which gets rid of the subscription payments. Take this amount out of here. And we'll take put 9999 in here so that, that they basically don't expire. We'll update the options. Now, what we have to do is we have to set up a certain button code to allow this thing to work for users that register as one-time payment members. Now, first of all, let's go have a look at the user manager. We go here and we key in demo user, get the user info. Here's our expiry date, which is 30 days from today. And at that point, PayPal will rebuild them. The IPN, which just ran, will come through here and update this date. Okay, nothing else down here has been purchased. All right, so now let's go back. Now, if we go down here, let's go back to Easy PayPal configuration. And at the bottom here, we have, so let's set up some categories for, for instance, silver and gold. So let's manage our category. And we'll add a new one. And call it silver. gold. Okay. Now, let's go back to settings. Go back to easy PayPal configuration. And then we'll put in here silver. Gold. Is the way we spell them update our options. And then down here we have something called payment levels. And this is the tag we need to use as a title of our post to get people to pay for the content that is in gold or silver. And I'll show you what I mean here. So let's go and we'll write a new post or page, doesn't matter which. Actually we have to write a post because we need to use the categories. Okay, so we'll Actually, for the payment side, it doesn't matter whether you use a post or a page. But when we get to the categories, we're going to have to use that. Okay, so I put in payment levels. And now down here, we have to use what's called a pay button. And if we roll down, you'll see down here it says Easy PayPal Instructions Show Hide. Okay, here's our pay button code. And here's the usage down here. So let's just copy this. And let's paste it in up here. And I'm just going to put, first I'm going to put upgrade or select your member level. Okay, and then I'll put silver. Let's highlight this. Item number. Okay. Now our item number has to be our category number. So let's save this for a sec. And then let's go manage in categories. Now with version 2.5 of WordPress, it doesn't show your category numbers in here anymore. So the way to figure it out is you gotta know which order you type them in, unfortunately. So the first two are reserved. The first one is unpublished, which we change to public. The second one is blog roll. Then we set up a third one called paid members. Silver was number four and gold was number five. Now there is another way to figure this out. You can go into your cPanel, MySQL databases, then go down to PHP MyAdmin, 
and pick your WordPress install. Okay, and then go to WP Terms and just click on this little thing here. And you'll see that public is one, blog rolls two, paid members three, silver is four, and gold is five. So that confirms what I just said there. Okay, so we go back here, and now we know that silver is four and gold is five. And we need those in our payment letter. Come here. Okay, so come back our to our item name. name. Okay, so we'll call this silver membership. Whatever you want your name to be on your button. And then your item number is four. So I'll take all this out. The amount is the amount you're going to charge. Say nine ninety five. Currency code, you can leave that blank to default to your default currency, or you can put your currency code in there. Okay, subscription days, that doesn't work in here, so get rid of that. But leave the pipe in there. And hidden text, you can put anything you want here. Okay, there it is there. And then we would just copy this and do the same thing for gold. Okay, so let's copy it. Let's type in gold. And then just change what needs to be changed in here. Five. Change the price. That's it. Okay, now let's publish, and then let's log out. Now if we go and look at the site. All we need to do is register for the site. Click register. And then we do the same thing again. Put in a new username and a new email address. Now we'll log in. Okay, now we go and so we, we have silver thing. and gold. Okay, so if we wanted to select the silver level, click on the PayPal button. Okay, you see it says silver membership, total nine ninety five. So then we just log in and proceed. Okay, we pay nine ninety five now. Turn. Okay, now if we go back and look at you'll see that the silver button has disappeared because it knows that we have silver access level. Okay, now one thing we didn't do when we were in admin was set up members only stuff for silver, so we better go and do that. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back to this. Okay, first of all, let's. Silver, because it's a little confusing. There we go. Now, contents so are only certain people can see them. In other words, we need to go. We need to create a post. To write a post, and then, so we'll say, silver members. Okay, and then all we have to do is pick silver, and publish, and then create another one. Call it gold members. Then you put all your gold member content in here. And then 
And down here, you would select gold as your category. Publish. Okay, now let's log out. Look at the site. Okay, so under categories gold, if we click on gold, Okay, you see, we can see the header, but we can't see what's inside there. Same with silver. We can see the header, but we can't see what's in it. Now, if we log in with our ID, then we'll use our two. Now, when we view the site, if we go into gold members, Okay, remember we didn't purchase this, so we can't see the content inside there. But if we go to silver, see, there is the silver member content there. So the silver membership is now available to us. So that's how simple it is. If it goes back to the payment levels again. Okay, the widget isn't turned on to show the posts. Easier. Let's do that. To me. Okay, so let's go to design widgets. Recent posts, and then of course we have to put everything else here that we want to. Otherwise, none of it shows up since we're using widgets now. Archives. Whatever you want here. Okay, so let's go with that. Back in his demo user too. Right. Okay, let's go back and view. Now, if we click on gold members, okay, we can't see that. Silver members, we can't see that. Okay, so this works a little better now. So let's go into payment levels, and you'll see that silver's been paid for, gold hasn't. So let's just go ahead and pay for the gold side. People I'm normally sure going to do this probably. How you access the other levels? So up here it says. 1995 USD for the gold membership. Okay, gold membership 1995 one time. Okay. Now if we go and look at gold members, you'll see that we now have access to gold member stuff because we paid for it. We have silver member stuff which we paid for. Payment levels. There's nothing in here to pay for anymore. Okay, now this is still showing here because we turned off the subscription part. So these are now paid members, these gold and silver guys. That's why they can see this. Okay, so that's really it. That's how you can set up your membership site as either a recurring payment site or a single payment site. Now, one more thing I just want to go over here before we go back and log in as admin again. And if we go to settings, and into our configuration here, user manager, demo user 2 we'll put in here. Now remember we put in 9,999 days, so they basically don't expire for a long time. Now down here you can see that they paid for item number four and five, which are our category. Okay, so that's basically it. The rest of the WordPress stuff is standard stuff. You're setting up your template, making your other posts, and perhaps setting up permalinks and other categories. But this is the guts of the membership part. And that concludes the video series.